Hey guys, just wanted to check in and say very quick hi. We have just had a lovely couple of days here at this campground here in Colorado with our casita. And uh, we got chatting to the campground owners here. She had some really great tips for how to stay safe with your campfire this July 4th weekend or all summer, anytime you're having a campfire. So uh, we're gonna hand over to Emily, share a few great tips. You stay safe out there and have a great 4th of July weekend. Bye. Hi there, my name is Emily St. Ruth. Um, I'm speaking to you here from Kevlar Corner Campground out in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado and we just wanted to do a little video today about um, some fire safety tips that can help keep everybody safe, the forest safe, nature safe, and most importantly you safe. Uh, my husband and I own and operate this campground out here and what I like to tell folks when they check in is be aware of CAD. So when you have a fire you want to have the conditions, you want to understand the conditions be aware and always attend to your fire and put it dead out. So the most important thing when you roll up to a campground, whether it's a campground with a host or a forest service campground that is completely out in nature, is you wanna understand your conditions and whatever fire restrictions may or may not be in place in that county. You can often do your own research before you get out of cell service and find out what restrictions your county has posted on, that, on their particular official website or ask the campground host. Each campground host should be aware of what's happening in their area as far as fire bans. You wanna have your own awareness when you build a fire. Are you, everybody loves those s'mores at night, right? That's the most, one of the most fun things, especially for kids. But if it's really windy, or if there's a lot of debris and dead uh, pine needles, needles or brush around you, just wanna be aware of what can you do to clear that area away and or just decide not to have a fire that night. But the most important thing I think in addition to understanding the conditions, being aware and attending your fire, never leaving it unattended and putting it dead out. So what the Forest Service will tell you is the fire should be so out at night before you go to bed or before you go, you know, leave your campground site is you should be able to put your hand in the fire. Now I don't advise you actually putting your hand in the fire and burning yourself, but it should be so out that you feel safe doing that. Um, one thing my husband and I suggest is to carry a Y-shaped adapter with you when you get to your campsite and to your RV site. And when you go to plug your water hose in, you can just attach the adapter and have a 10-foot short hose that runs to your fire pit. And that way you don't have to unplug your own water. You just, when you get ready to go to bed, you just turn that, that hose on and put the, uh, put the fire out. Stay safe out there and I hope you enjoy many, many s'mores. Yeah.